Hey guys, welcome back to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Blondie here, and today I am here with Parker, my new baby alive Parker, and she has no clothes on. <sighs> it's so sad. Like, I mean, yeah, I have a lot of doll clothes, but you know, if you have a doll and you're like, I don't know, I don't have anything that I want her to wear, or I want to make some new clothes for her, then. Fear not. You, all you will need is optional. You don't need to have doll shoes, but I have these cute pink sandals because I think they'll look good with her outfit. Put them right there. And I have this little doll skirt. And you can use doll pants or doll bottoms. Okay, and also a sock that does not fit you anymore. So this ice cream sock did not fit me anymore. So I'm going to use it for this outfit. And the last thing you'll need is scissors. And ask your parents for permission before you use, before you do this to your sock. Okay. So that sock didn't fit me anymore, so I'm gonna do this. Sorry, the area over here is all really, really super cat hair. Because my cat was laying here. But anyways, let's get started. So, as you can tell, she is not wearing anything on her butt. That's a problem. Especially since she's wearing a skirt. So, all you need is your sock and your scissors. And take the sock and you're just gonna wanna cut right about there. Try to get a really even line. Let's see. Alright, so this we're gonna put this piece aside and now we're working with this, the place that goes on your toes. So you just want to cut really small holes on the side. You don't want to make it too big, because when you make it too big, then it's going to be really weird looking on your dolls. So I think I just messed that up a little. It's okay if it's not perfect. Like there's a little jag right there, so I'll have to cut that out. And my mom's talking to her cat. Alright. So... And now we have little tiny underpants. So great, like if you pretend that your baby lives are much older than they're really supposed to be, then you're like, they would not wear diapers. So, and it's so hard to find underpants at their size. So, you can just use your old socks that don't fit you anymore. Not just to make underpants. I mean, if you have really fun socks, then we'll make little ice cream underpants. So that's super duper cute. And then we have this other piece of the sock that we're not using, so you're just like, okay. But we need a top still, so we will be using this. So open it up like this so the heel is in the back. And go to the sides about right here and cut little holes. You can measure about where you are cutting so the holes are look more the same size. I do that and it helps sometimes a lot. So now we have little sleeves. So let's take our doll and you can just slide this onto her feet. Sorry you guys can't really see it very well. I just want to put these straps over her her hands just like that it's the straps that you made yourself over her hands and the bottom and then push the top up a little and it's super cute well you can adjust it when you put your bottoms on and if there's clumps like that hanging off you can just clip them 
to be not there anymore. So they're not a bunch of them. But then if you look at the back, that is not okay to look at. So, I'm going to go down so you guys can see exactly how this is. This is really the hardest part, guys, so you want to be extra careful when you're doing this part. But I'm not being extra careful because I've done this a couple times. So you just want to make a hole in the back. So it's actually not that hard. It's not even that big of a deal because there is shirts that have this style. Like if you have one of those shirts, then you know. So now there's no more of that big thing hanging off. And if you want to get rid of that little piece, then you can just cut the sides away. Super cute. Okay. And now it looks like a swimsuit. And your doll can't go to school with underpants on. So you can just take doll bottoms you already have. Like this pink skirt, I thought was a super cute match to the pink ice creams on this shirt and underpants. I mean, obviously nobody's going to see the underpants, hopefully. But they'll see the shirt and OMG, that looks so cute. And... You don't have to, but I took these little pink shoes. Like, if you don't have this doll, then you won't have these pink shoes. But if you have any shoes that you want to match up with it that will fit your doll, go ahead and do that if you want. So, she looks so cute. She won't be wearing the shoes inside, because you don't need to wear shoes inside. But I think it's so cute. And it was super easy to make. All I needed was a sock, scissors, and some doll clothes I already had. And it makes a super cute little outfit for your doll. Now always remember to use socks that don't fit you anymore. So you don't waste clothes that do. And also make sure that your parents allow you to do this. So then you don't get in trouble. But overall, if you do do this, if you do do this, if you decide that you want to do this, then this is something that will be your finished result, and I really like it. Now, if you wanted to make the collar a little different, you can just cut, cut down it. It's super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and you'll see videos with Parker in this adorable outfit.